What's going on, YouTubers? This video is for my boy DJ Francis on how to map the Novation Dicers to the Crossfader on Video SL. The only way to map the Dicers is if you hold down this little button. All five of these are now able to be MIDI mapped to anything that is able to be mapped on your Serato program. Also, on the green layer, you hold the green layer down, you can map that to anything. Your uh, your cue points, your your drops, um, your crossfader, your effects, whatever you want to map it to. The way to do that is, since we're doing video SL, sorry for my shitey camera, you can see it's record, hardware, video SL, SP6, DJ effects. We have video SL, unclick now, click back on video SL, go up here to the top to your MIDI tab. Now you see all your video SL shit is right here because you have that tab clicked before you went and clicked the MIDI tab. Now if you see right here there is a cut left and a cut right for the crossfader. There is also an auto crossfade left and right as well. You can set the speed so it goes a little bit slower, a little bit faster. I have mine set to be a little bit slow so you can kind of do the mix and it kind of looks like it works naturally. I also, I map this side to my left dicer and I map the left side to my right dicer and I'll show you why I do that. And you can also do the cut as well, but the cut just, boom, sends it straight over to the other side and straight back over to the other side. The auto crossfade looks much more natural. We're gonna click on that button right there. Click on auto crossfade left. Come over to the right hand side. Hold the small one down. Hold that. It is now mapped to there. We're going to come on the right side, click it again, come over to the left dicer, hold the small button down, tap the big button, and now that one's saved. We'll go ahead and do these two. This is the cut left, click on that, back over here, hold the small button, we'll map that one right beside the other, hit that, it's now mapped. Now we're going to come over to the right cut, click that, come back over here, small orange button, this one right beside it, push that down, and now our crossfader is now mapped to our dicers. Let's see if this actually works. I'm sure it will. So to get back out, you're going to go back up to the MIDI tab, click that, you're back to normal again. So if you now come over to your dicer, hold the little button. Click that button that you just have mapped the first button, and you'll see the crossfader go over to the other video. Now, if we come over to this side, small button, we're going to hit the number one, and you see the crossfader come back over to the other side. Now, to do the cut, you're going to hold this one, and this is the cut, and you'll see it just flies across back over to the other side. Same if we come to this side small button this is your cut and boom straight over to the other side so this is your fade this is your cut the reasoning for me mapping the dicers backwards is this I also have set up the echo out effect on Serato and the rollout effect I could hold this button down this would be my rollout effect so audio would be gone this would be my crossfader for video SL and then it would be boop over to the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like and then I'm going to put it on the TV and you'll be able to see what it looks like. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's what it would look like. And you could hear there was the echo out and this crossfaded over onto the other side, which was the Benny Benassi. So right. we now are focused on the TV and you'll be able to see now what it looks like and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like too. Hmm. Interesting. All right, here we go. That was the crossfade right there. And it's as simple as that. Once again, make sure you have the video SL tab open. Go up here, click MIDI, and then these four are the ones you're going to want to map. Like I said, I map the right hand side to the left and I map the left hand side to the right and that's just the way I go about doing it you can do it however you want I like to use the yellow no no reason why I just like to use the yellow for my effects you could use the green or you could use the yellow to mini map anything on dicers you hold that small button down, you can see the lights go out and they are ready to be mapped to anything you want. Same thing goes with the green. You hold the green down, you can map anything. And then anytime you hold it down and trigger it, it will trigger whatever you have linked to it. That is it. Hope that cleared it up for you there, Francis, and anybody else who had this problem. Peace out. Oh yeah, holla at your boy.